Hey there and welcome in. I'm going to use this opportunity just to remind you of um, some of the simple things about being safe on the internet uh, because quite a lot of you have been asking me over time how come you're not using Arch user repository. Um, the Arch user repository is the reason to use Arch Linux. I mean, if you are an Arch user and not using Arch user repository, then you're using Arch wrong. Like, you know, when Apple told me that I'm holding my phone wrong uh, because there is no single signal. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of think that's a good comparison. But, you know, the recently a uh, Trojan was discovered in Arch user repository. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, if you have heard of it by now, good on you. If you haven't, uh, you have just been informed. So the reason why I'm saying this is because when you are using your operating system, whether it's a Mac, Windows, Linux, uh, Arch user repository, flat packs, uh, Debian native uh, files, whatever. There is a level of trust that you need to put into the stuff that you are downloading and installing on your computer. So from my perspective, it kind of feels like native Debian packages are the ones uh, that should be trusted a lot more uh, than, for example, our choose repository. Uh, even the native um, packages from Arch repository are to be trusted a lot more than our choose repository. What is the reason behind this? Uh, simply because you don't really know uh, what people are putting in a UR. You can see into the um, package builds of the Arch user repository packages, but there is a problem with this. Every time there is an update, you have to check it out once again. And not only the package that you are installing, but also the uh, dependency packages from Arch user repository that you are pulling. So there is a trust um, how do you, it's like a pyramid of trust, right? So when you are trusting the main package, which pulls another few packages, uh, then you have to check uh, all of the packages. What exactly are they uh, doing uh, for your computer? What are they pulling? What are they uh, compiling for you? Uh, if it's a binary package, even worse, even worse, then these dependency packages. They might be depending on something else. And you have, I, I don't have this much time. I really don't. I want to be reasonably sure what I am installing on my computer. So why have I been uh, telling uh, that I use flat packs? You would say that flex, flat packs are even worse than our choose repository. And you would generally be right uh, in a lot of cases. But what am I pulling from Flatpak? I am pulling Caden Live, OBS, uh, maybe Brave. I don't remember if I have used Brave for a while, but generally, uh, li like bottles package, right? Generally, these are uh, the packages that have a check mark, which leads to a website of a person who I have reasonable trust into. So if it's a random package from um, uh, Flathub that has no check mark, then no, that's definitely not what I'm installing. Even if it has a check mark, uh, I'm not installing it and blindly trusting it. I need to be able to understand who made this package uh, and what is his identity, you know? Uh, I mean, if it's a random package with a check mark, it, it's not the same level of trust uh, which I would put into Caden Live package that was clearly packaged by the KDE team. So 
you know, it's all about level of trust. So with this, I'm going to close this video uh, and I'm just going to once again remind you to think about what you are installing on your computer. And no, I'm not telling you to quit using Arch use repository. I'm just telling you to have a little bit of understanding of what you're doing and why you're doing it. Just don't blindly trust everything that's labeled as Arch because Arch user repository is not Arch repository. I'm gonna see you in the next video.